الرحمن الرحيم and Allah سبحانه وتعالى يعني in purpose he put that in the very beginning of his أسماء الحسنى Allah who is Allah الرحمن الرحيم who is Allah the most gracious and the most merciful and he started his book the very book that he revealed to the guidance of humanity of Quran and Kareem in the name of Allah بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم in the name of Allah the most gracious and the most merciful so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is introducing himself to his creatures being merced, the most merciful subhanahu wa ta'ala. نَحْنُ نَتَقَلَّ فِي رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ We are literally drowning in the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The mercy of Allah is wrapping us in everything around us. The, all the gifts and blessings is, is from his mercy, is from his rahmah. We do sins and we do mistakes and we do not worship him as we're supposed to and we do a lot of things yet he shows us mercy subhanahu wa ta'ala because he's a rahman a rahim all the time and the mercy from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to us and to anybody is a is a is a pure gift when you show somebody else mercy it's mainly because this person you sympathize with him there is something that's going on in your mind and in your heart when you see somebody being killed when you see somebody is in need of your help and you feel bad in your heart and actually in reality you do that for yourself when you show mercy to others you do it because you need to relieve yourself in the first place this is how we show mercy allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that does not happen to him he gives his mercy as a pure gift not expecting anything bad and he you know directs us and guides us to be merciful to everybody around us if you are not going to practice it as it is always being practiced with you by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you do not show this mercy and practice it with others, with everything, with the creatures of Allah, with the humans, with the, those who are closer to you, with animals, with everything, you are not going to be shown mercy. And simply we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala show, shows mercy to the, uh, the, the, the person who uh, gave water to the dog, who was thirsty, dying out of thirst, and he gave him Jannah. Allah was so grateful to him that he forgave all of his sins because he showed mercy. Let's show mercy to one another, ya Ahbab. Let's live with that value. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent us a messenger who was bil mu'minina rahima. Bil mu'minina ra'ufun rahim. He is so kind and merciful to the believers. This is our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You see somebody is, is, is you know, coming all the way to him in the masjid and grabbing him by his clothes or calling him names and and he would right away show him mercy sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he would let it go because he is merciful to everybody somebody is coming to commit to, to confess that he committed zina or something he would actually push him away he would tell his ashab is he crazy did he drink anything that's in one way of the hadith he asked the companion to go and smell man smell his now what does he say he said are you aware of what he's saying you're going to do yourself the the punishment in islam is so great for that he is pushing him away because he is so merciful, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, even though the person is coming to confess the, the, that he committed this uh, sin or crime. So he was merciful, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. All the aspects of his life is that he was merciful to everybody around him. Let's be merciful to one another, to our family members. What we see sometimes from spouses, they don't show mercy to one another. Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala, He said, He is the one that got you together. together. Uh, he is the one that, gave, that, that sits between you and, and casts between you love and mercy. You love one another at good times, but at, at other times, you need to show mercy. At times of mistakes, at times of turbulence and, and problems, you have to show mercy. Friends, not only when you are cold to one another, now people probably make a mistake one time, say some bad words about you, you might probably slip. This is the time that we need to show mercy to one another. Let's show mercy to one another. Let's be merciful, ya uh, The Quran, from beginning to end, many of its ahkam, you will see it clearly. Yani, why do we respect elders? Out of mercy. Why do we respect and, and, and be kind to the young uh, you know, children? Because it's, it's an aspect, another aspect of, of mercy. If we do not do that, if mercy is taken away, we will see what we see in other communities nowadays. Somebody is a senior, they will literally cast him to the margin of the society, putting him in a, in a building for some other uh, people to take care of them, even though this is the same person that took care of you for years. No, Muslims, they have mercy in their heart. They will take care of their parents, of the closest people to the very end of their life, 
because they have mercy. So why do we have so many ahkam about taking care of the orphans and needy and taking care of one another? If you see all of these ahkam, the very early ahkam and rules and guidelines that came in the very beginning of Islam, they all would translate into mercy. Because we, we are merciful not only to those who show us mercy, not only for those who are good to us, not only for those who deserve, no, for everybody, especially those who are you know, marginalized in the society. We don't only live for ourselves, we should live for others and we should give. Not only money, but we should give of the values that Islam is teaching, are teaching us. Live mercy and show mercy and give mercy so you will be shown mercy. You want to be forgiven in the day of judgment? Forgive others. You want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be merciful to you and let go of everything that you have done? You do the same with others right now. Right now. This is the hadith of somebody from a previous nation and he was a merchant, a trader, a businessman. And, and, and he, you know, people owe him money. When it's time that they have to pay off the money but they couldn't, then he will ask the, the people who work for him to let it go for them, to give them an, an extra time or something. Samhan, kana samhan. He was easy to deal with. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the angels in the day of judgment, they couldn't see anything good for him other than this. He said, Ana awla bi I have more right to do that. And he used to let go of, of uh, you know, people's do's and stuff, I would do the same uh, for him. So do it, so you will be shown mercy in the day of judgment because every single person of us, we will, well, yeah, the time will come that we will definitely need that mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So let's work for it from now. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fill our hearts with mercy and uh, make us merciful to one another and show mercy to Allah.